Wake it up, wake it up, boy. You already know, nigga. Come on, we already know that. Let them know that, though. It's diesel talk. Right, we diving straight off into this shit. What we gonna do, trail water all day? Trail water? Nigga, no, nigga, we diving into this shit, going to do what we gonna do, we going further, period. And we talking about this position, you know what I'm saying? Position. Listen, what I mean by that is that you can't be afraid and you can't, you can't, let me rephrase that. You can't be afraid of a motherfucker that you uh, feel like they're in a better position than you for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? You can't feel like uh, somebody got that spot, right? That you want for whatever reason and that you feel that they don't deserve it. You should be there. Um, a whole bunch of bombity ass things can come into the, your mind. But you got to know how to be Scotty Pippen and accept that. See, a lot of motherfuckers don't know, don't understand that side, and they don't welcome that side. Because when you welcome that side, you welcome your ability, your own ability. See, when you're jealous at, 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 at the headliner or the number one, I feel like you know within your own heart that you're not going to get there. You know that. You won't admit that, but you know it. This is why you get mad or jealous at the headliner. This is why you get mad and jealous at the person in the number one position. Because if you know that it's in you, what's wrong with going through the proper channels to get there? Because in your own heart, in your own soul, you know you're going to get there. But the people that know they ain't, right? Ooh, they hate that position. Boy, they hate that they hate to be number two, boy. Ooh -wee. They hate to be number two. And remember, number two is a hard jam. Remember, uh, you got people down the list. Seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. But when you're that far down the down the road, you don't then people really don't trip on first place. Because they're so far down the line. 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th, they don't trip on it. That second place, ooh-wee, even that third, anywhere where you congested in between those, um, those spots, ooh-wee. That's number two is a cold spot. But, but, but what we're talking about is that you don't, you, don't, you don't hate on number two, though, because that's in you. You know that's, it, that that's in you. When it's all said and done, when you're number two, when it's all said and done, and you are doing what you got to do to be number one, you're not going to be mad at the end of the day, even if you only stayed number two because you gave it your all. Because in your head, you're number one. So the hating shit is not... It doesn't come into play to the point to where you actually hate the person that got the number one spot. Right. When I, you know, when I hear motherfuckers talk on podcasts, when I hear motherfuckers talking in interviews, you know, um, um, doing things that I know I can, right? But they're doing it already. That's the motivation. See, I don't know what it's like to, to get involved in something and to have the mentality of, 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 of saying that I can't. Why are you even involved? For what? What are you doing here? When you know you're that one, you're that one. You don't worry about the next person's position. That's what you don't do. That ain't never gonna get you nowhere. That ain't never gonna get you nowhere. All this gonna, all this gonna get you is, is, is being a hater motherfucker. 
to define it at his, at his best. <clears throat> you got to be ready to play Pippin if that's your role. See, the role a person plays within a task, within a um, a daily cause, a purpose, um, you, you know, whatever the case may be. A train, a, a, the locomotive just ain't driving by itself. That motherfucker got cardio. Right. That motherfucker got to pull all that. The chain's not just one link. It's multiple links. Talk to him, Diesel. It's multiple links. So you always got to know, man, of what you, how you built and what you can do and what you know you're going to do. And that's what I'm saying, the purpose. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't, you know, they, they don't, everybody want the number one spot. And that's where she becomes bombing. Everyone ain't going to get that spot. But you got to acknowledge the gifts in your role that you play, that you know, that you know you put your heart, your mind, your discipline, your enthusiasm into this. You know that. So you're telling me, you're telling yourself that's not enough? How could I be mad at a person for being number one when I know I'm number four and I gave everything I could possibly give? I gave everything I possibly can give. But I got to admit at the end of the day, if this person, right, this number one, when they give all they can give, they they, they they did a little bit better. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? It's a problem and it shouldn't be. You feel me? So you got to learn to play your position. You got to learn to play your motherfucking role. <clears throat> Stop always looking for other ways to get out of something because you feel like you ain't got everything granted to you that you feel like you're supposed to get. Get out there and get that shit. If you're supposed to be number one, get out there and make yourself number one. If, if it's that serious, if it's that serious to, to hate on the next person, to, to degrade the next person, you should be on your own ass for not being number one. But you use more energy, right? Directed it to where that motherfucker is number one and don't really break down everything that's really going on. Because remember this, and always remember this. You number one at something. I don't know what it is. Every individual has to find that. And, and whatever you find that in, nigga, you find that in. You might be the number one nigga that jacks your dick more than any motherfucking body on earth. <laughs> but look, you number one at that. <laughs> you number one at that. You number one at that. Uh, but now you, you tripping over this nigga because he number one, and maybe you know some you do some some you do this more pronounced. That's more uh, uh, um, 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 publicized. You mad? But knowing you 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 the head, you you, you number one at jacking off. <laughs> but you thought you wasn't good at nothing, boy. Make it make sense. Are y'all understanding me? See how I got to use that? Because that's just real talk. Some niggas waking up tomorrow, they waking up saying, God damn, baby. This nigga do this better than me. This nigga, what the fuck, what's wrong? But you ain't thought about how good you jack off. <laughs> I got to use shit like that because this is what I'm really, I'm, I'm comparing the two because you will overlook 
right? We laugh at that, but you will overlook something that you actually do good. But who you don't want to you want to say that to yourself, right? Because that would be embarrassing, right? That would be embarrassing. So 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 now you start hating on next motherfucker, talking all this shit, and you the head motherfucker jacking off. But you mad at them because they got a raise at work because they on time. They on time every day. They show up and they show out. They bring people in. They continue to, 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 to flourish and, and, and to use their networking and expand the company. And you mad. But that was right. They ain't mad at you. Because only you know you're the head jacker. <laughs> Man, this shit vomity. How life really is. Because niggas, niggas judge shit, blood. But niggas don't take a look at their own motherfucking day and see what they can judge about themselves. They want to look at everything. They want to tell you how many people do you do you have in your life? Let me ask you this: How many people do you have in your life that they come home from work, or you know they they give you some spare time just to talk or whatever? How many motherfuckers uh, uh, do a lot of self admitting? How many motherfuckers explain problems and they self admit what they caused in it? How many motherfuckers explain a story that you know? That, 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 that highlight their wrongs. Nah, that's not likely. Most time, motherfucker get out work and they tell you a story. Oh, yeah, man, Bob didn't, Bob didn't show up today. Bob never shows up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, even when he do show up, man, he, you know what I'm saying? He halfway work, you know? It's always going to be like that. Stop fucking with them motherfuckers, blood. And, 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 and tell them motherfuckers, next time you hear a story like that, blood say, that sound bombing. And tell them motherfuckers, let me hear yo, let, let me hear yo, with, 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 let me hear your part in it. All them motherfuckers telling you stories and they ain't never the headline over nothing. Super bombing is Diesel Talk, boy. And the outro, wake it up, wake it up. <laughs> ah, yeah, nigga.